On Tuesday, June 19th, 2-0 Ashland Legion took on Sudbury at Feely Field in Sudbury. Top of the first, the post-77 bats got going. Brady steps back in, up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman. Here is one run, and the runner behind him held up at third. It's an RBI single for Hornung. 77 with some nice new jerseys this season. As there's a strike runner from first taken off to throw up is a good one, but it is going to get away. Now the runner from third is going to score. It's 2 0 post 77. Dom Cavanaugh comes around, and the throw up was pretty good by Jacob Noyes, the catcher, but that just went right off of Hornham. Line up in the pitch. There it is. This is up the middle past the dive of the third baseman. Here is one run into score, and that is all that'll score as the ball quickly delivered back into the infield by Schreiber, but taken off for second is Rossi, and he's gonna be safe. He gets an A-plus for that at bat. He went the other way, and then he watched, he watched the left fielder overthrow the ball, miss the cutoff man, and like last year, he was off to the races, and there he is with his dirty uniform. Play one home game, and then they don't have another home game until July 6th. This is hit high in the air over to right center, and it is caught. Runner from third going to try to tag. The throw in is pretty good, but not in time. It's 4-0, Ashton. Now the throw to third to try to get the lead runner, not in time. A couple Sudbury errors and a few post-77 hits turns into four runs, and that turned out to be all they needed as Ashland topples Sudbury 14-1. After a tough loss in Lowell Wednesday, Post 77 seek to get back on a winning trend in Natick. Top of the third inning, Post 77 leading 3 to nothing with bases juiced. Hopkinton's Cole Glassburn comes to the plate. As this is hit in the air, over to center, could be trouble, and that's gonna drop past the reach of the shortstop. One run in, here comes another. He'll slide in safely, and the ball will go all the way to the backstop, allowing the lead runner to head over to third. Brad Seymour heads all the way to third, and that is a two RBI double for Cole Glassburn. Two more runs score, making it five nothing. Holliston's Ben Thomas adds another. So this one, this is up the middle. This is going to be trouble. That'll get through. Here comes Brad Seymour and another run behind him. Glassburn, the slide in, not in time. They get him at the plate, but it is going to be a 6 nothing post-77 lead. Top of the fifth, Ashland's Dom Cavanaugh steps in the batter's box. Line up and the pitch. This is hit in the air over to right center. That'll drop down. One run in. Here comes another run. The outfielder still tracking down the ball. And now maybe a third run's gonna come in. The throw home is going to pull the catcher off the bag. Everyone's safe. And then the hitter gonna try to advance the third. He's thrown out. It turned into the second four-run inning of the day for post 77 as they take the 10-1 win over Natick. Ashland post 77 has not yet played a home game but they are at the top of District 5 with four wins and one loss on the season.